what to do, what to do, stop with the blockchain finance and value. And I had a quick look at this project, but I never really did like a proper breakdown for it. So we're going to look at their website, do a little breakdown for it, and it is called Leatherheads, right? So a collection of stunning 3D art combining leather and apes in a way that has produced some of the best 3D art on Cardano. Now, I don't know about the best, but it is pretty sick. I have to admit, when I first seen this project, I was like, I, I, just from the art, I thought, no, this is going to go far. There's just something about how it's been done. The art, the actual art itself, it's original, it's colourful, they do look like they're all in leather. Like, that in itself, I think, will make it go far. Um, let me just look at them. You know, they do look pretty sick, to be very honest. I... So they're 5,555 5, unique NFT Leatherhead. So Leatherhead has been with this forever and is associated with skilled work, art and protection. Leather is a luxury, always has been. Our NFTs are handcrafted to honor the relationship we have with the medium. This is your chance to own a beautiful piece of workmanship each one unique and carrying their own range of benefits in our society. Additionally, most pro sports from basketball, football, rugby, baseball, hockey and soccer all traditionally use gear made from genuine leather. Whether it's the ball itself or shoes and gloves, leather has been a key element of the sporting world since immemorial. Best of all, our leather is guaranteed 100% cruelty free. You can let your conscience rest easy minting our NFT, knowing the one, the one, the only ones who will suffer in the process are our artists. Leatherhead collection. So there's a few more. I like this one. I like how they got like the zip as the earring, and then the zip goes all the way around, and then you got the zip as the headband. And they got the laced as like the mohawk ear sort of thing. Like, I think these are going to do well. The only problem I have is around the time they're minting, because when they're minting, there's another project that's focused on heads as well, fully enough. Sneaker heads. It's dropping around the same time. Uh, well, dropping on the same day. So that does worry me a little bit. Is there going to be enough ADA to go around? Because there's quite a few projects this month. Um, I mean, there's one called The Journey that's dropping soon. Um, I would have liked to have minted that one, but... I didn't get whitelist. Anyway, I'll we'll focus on this. In fact, let me show you what I mean. So I just quickly came on CNFT calendar. And as you can see here, 5,555. And the sneaker haircut, 5,555. Hmm. Twitter followers, Twitter followers, very similar, very similar. Now, your Discord is what's killing you from here. Um, from what I can see, these are killing it on Discord, and it's a bigger reason why I'm running with this project over sneakheads. But because of the Twitter followers, I mean, some of them could be fake, but it's just something to keep your eye on that there is going to be a project minted on that day that does seem to have a bit of popularity to it, and it is considerably cheaper. So we'll go back. So we'll go to the roadmap. So phase one, build community, roadmap version 1.0, website launch, season one mint, which this is where we'll be now, tokenomics, so you're going to have their own token, marketing, investments, and collaboration, head token launch, team growth, and consolidation. Phase two, we're going to have a head initial public offer. Be careful with that one. You might end up with Gary Ganza chasing you. Um, S1 staking mechanism implemented, auction of S1 NFT purchasable with head, uh, white paper, head airdrop program start for active members, holders, season one stake, start to gain head, copyright and brand registration, explore merch, passive incomes, hire specialists. So it seems like, don't, I mean, this is just what I get from it. A lot of people are starting to try and take that sort of, mini hedge fund sort of block investment group sort of path where you know explore passive income higher specialists so i don't know if that's going to be where some obviously someone's going to take the funds from the project that you've paid for and use them to try and 
make some sort of income and then distribute that back towards the holders, um, which we've seen quite a few projects starting to do this now. Not a problem with it, you know, it's a good idea. Um, but it just we just have to stand back and see how these guys can execute because this is because it's dangerous in terms of you know I'm not financially qualified. So if you're not financially qualified, what are you doing playing with X Y amount of people's funds? I'm not saying these guys aren't. I'm not saying that um, the people that they hire are not going to be. But I'm just saying in general, like when we when we're looking at projects. It's something, and a lot of these are going to start popping up. It's something to definitely keep your eye on. Um, so it's phase three. So we've got special leatherhead collection purchase with head, Dex liquidity pool seed, whitelist purchase with head token, investors and partnership expansion, burn head program. Okay, so they're going to have a burn program, which will obviously make it more rare. So the price of it should go up. Ambassador program events. So wider head adoption partners adopt, accept in other NFT projects. Season two mint yield farming road map version 2.0 new investment funds allocations and more to come. So on another video where I did, um, I literally broke down the team in another video. So I'm not going to do it again um, because you can just go and watch that video. It was a video where I was talking about mints for this month and these were on there from back then. I was looking at these. So all these people have been in other projects from what I know, what I can remember. Um, he was definitely in another project. I was reading, he lost his leg, but he said he's got experience. Uh, Beth, I've seen her on a couple of other projects. She has experience. These two, I cannot remember. Um, to be honest, I've seen them in other projects, but they oh and this guy i um, think this is his first project as well you can read all about them in their discord they are all there i have like i said done a breakdown in my uh youtube video where it was talking about mints for this month so please go there but they got they do have previous experience with other projects So I'm not going to go through any of that here because, you know, if you've been watching this channel here, you already know. You already know, man. Let's have a quick look at the... So as you can see right from the Twitter, now they've got 5,054 followers. Last chance to win OG, that was on the 30th of August. See, these, these, they're going to sell out. Like, I would like to see that they have the... Uh, Gucci, yo, the, Gu the, the Gucci print, mm -mm. or Louis Vuitton print, yo. So we'll just go down and have a look. You can see that we're giving away OG swaps from whitelist, like one of some of these do look absolutely sick. And I think the price of these is going to skyrocket personally. I'm putting, I'm putting, I'm going down on record to say it. Let's have a look. I mean, the weird, the weirdest thing about projects like this, though, it's hard because I always look at and try to see which one's going to be the more valuable ones. Like, which ones are going to be the, not the one of ones, but you know, the ones in the top 100. The only one I can see here is the gold one because they all look pretty sick. To be fair, so okay amounts of interaction right here. Right here. Sorry, I just seen this. It's just like, oh, was that what? Ten might this spots. Ten might this spots. Yeah, devastated. I've not got a white list for the journey, so I don't even think I'm going to mint it. To be fair. Yeah, but anyway, uh, that's leather heads. So blockchain finance and value. Stop boy D. Like and subscribe. And um, peace.